So good morning, everybody. So um, we're reading through a whole bunch of Psalms today, and I, I'm not going to list them off. <laughs> it's just a, a lot of Psalms. You see them in the title. Uh, you see which ones you're supposed to be reading. Um, there's there's a few things that really jump out from these, these Psalms, though. Um, one of the big things that jumps out, and we'll, we'll start with this one, is that we can see that this relationship we have is supposed to be one of blessings and one of obedience. Uh, it's, it's a, it, it's not a methodology. It's, it's, it's uh, nothing really complicated. It is a simple relationship where the father desires to bless us. And we, as his loving children desire uh, to be obedient, to please him. And, it's, uh, we, we know what it's like in a family. Uh, parents really desire uh, to bless their children. Uh, they, they really desire uh, to give them great things. And, and, and when children uh, it, it, it are in that loving relationship where they just want to please their parents, they, their, their great desire is to see their, their mom and dad smile at them. And, and so it's easy to bless that. It's easy, just that the blessings flow, the obedience flows. It's, it's a perfect, wonderful harmony, right? Um, but humanity enters into that. And we have children who don't want to be controlled and parents who want to do the controlling. And it gets a little messed up where it ends up to be uh, a withholding of, of blessings in order to punish that's our way of doing it. But father's thing is that his desire is still to bless. And it's not that those blessings are held back in punishment, but he cannot, he cannot, um, the door isn't open to those blessings. The door isn't open to the flow of those blessings. Because if, if he, if he blessed the disobedient, if he bless the the rebellious he would be producing spoiled children and there would be no benefit and it, it would be our destruction those blessings would would not be to increase us those blessings would actually destroy us because it ruins this free-flowing relationship that that we're supposed to have uh, but understand his desire is still to bless as any parent's desire is to bless but his is is beyond um, the, the, the normal desire of, of a mom and dad. And, uh, and so this is, this is what we need, um, to understand, but what also comes out of these, these, um, these Psalms is that, that the, the, one of the things that pleases dad the most is do no harm. When, when you read through the law and you read through all the, the things that displeased him and the things that, that honored him. It was about uh, justice. It was about treating people right. It was about doing the right thing. It was about bringing no harm to anybody. And and when you add on to that, the, the, the whole thing that we understand in the, the New Testament about generosity, then, then you begin to understand that in this life of, of blessing, as we read in these Psalms, what we can also read in, is in this life of blessing, a blessed life, it is also a life of generosity, a life of pouring out, of, 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 of not bringing any harm to, to anybody, desiring the best for them, because that's Father's heart, is desiring the best, desiring the best, the thinking well of people, lifting them up, encouraging them, and, and, and pouring out great generosity into their life. This, this is what our life is supposed to look like. And we see the roots of it here in these Psalms and in other places in, in the Old Testament that this is what life is supposed to look like. And he pours out these blessings so that we can be generous with them and pour them out into other people's lives. And it's just this constant flow of blessing. We receive and we give out, we receive and we give out. Uh, and, and it pleases him and he loves that. And that's what a righteous life looks like. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what you get from the Psalms this morning. So you guys be blessed. Look for ways to, to honor him and please him um, by blessing by blessing others, take those blessings and see them multiplied so that you can pour them out uh, into other people's lives and uh, do no harm. God bless.